Let's bring in Austin Allison. He is the co-founder and CEO of Picasso. Austin, it's great to have you. And tell us exactly how this works. Kelly, it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. So Picasso is on a mission to enrich people's lives by making second home ownership possible and enjoyable for more people. And what we're doing is we're modernizing an old practice of co-ownership that's been around for years. So imagine if you and a small group of friends decided that you wanted to own a home together. That's what Picasso does, except for we handle all the details, everything from bill pay to maintenance to design so that you can enjoy your second home and not have to worry about the headaches. What do you mean by own? Because most of us are thinking about a single title and a mortgage attached to that. And yeah, so every home is owned through a special purpose LLC, which is a very common ownership structure. In fact, when we look at most second home markets, there's thousands of homes that are already owned in LLCs, and there's just multiple members through the LLC, but it's true property ownership. The owners have complete control. You can sell any time, and Picasso is effectively a property manager once you purchase your one-eighth or one-quarter interest in the home. What if I end up having a falling out with my, you know, I, I hate to suggest this could ever happen, Austin, but what if there's a, a difference of opinion among the members of this LLC? Yeah, well, that's one of the many reasons why co-ownership is hard to do on your own, because it's tough to reach an agreement with six or eight other people. Picasso plays the middleman in that instance, and we handle all the details. So there really is no opportunity for you to get into a dispute with another owner about what kind of refrigerator to to install or what kind of art we put on the walls. Picasso handles all those details. We're effectively a full service property management company for the co-ownership use case so that owners can just enjoy their home. Yeah, you don't let them uh, pick the, you know, get too involved basically. So how does this differ from what we think of as traditional timeshares, which as you know, have garnered such a shady reputation? Yeah, it's a great question. So timeshares are effectively hotels, commercial hotels, where you're purchasing a right to use property. With Picasso, you're purchasing real estate and not time, and you have complete control. It's very different than being part of a big program. The, the best analogy that I can provide that's outside of the real estate space would be carpooling. Co-ownership is more like carpooling than it is a timeshare. And what I mean by that is, imagine an empty SUV driving down the highway into the big city with one person in it. That's the equivalent of an empty home. Would you rather have one SUV with full of eight people or eight empty SUVs? Of course, we'd rather have one SUV because it's less pollution, less traffic. The same is true of second homes. Most second homes sit vacant for 11 months per year. We're simply making better use of the housing stock by modernizing this old practice that's been around for years, which we call co-ownership. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.